we just had a great Fun. camaraderie feeling about the place and lots of different nationalities all coming together and getting the job done. Yes. You know. Was, eight shows a week. Yeah. Eight shows a week, Monday night. That was it. Travel right, on the yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Do, Do your washing. washing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then on you go. Sometimes, you know, things do get quite rough on tour. There was one time in Leeds we were where they had the dock doors open and it was snowing. And we were sitting on the side as lilac attendants going, a bit cold in here, you know, it, eventually they closed the doors. But, you know, there were yes. things that nowadays all health and safety people would have a fit about, I think. It was just the sleeping between shows as well. You'd, in Bristol, there were really small dressing tables and you managed to squeeze yourself <laughs> between the skip and the floor, and the floor. to have a Every kip, of, you know, a little kip for 30 minutes before the, you had to put your makeup back on. Or you kept it on and it, it was crusted, crusted up. up. Just put a bit more lipstick on. On you go. That was the other thing, going from a rake stage to a flat stage. You never knew, well, you did whilst you'd done one tour, but otherwise you'd just... Crikey, how am I going to... Sunderland. Bristol, Leeds, Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> people get injured and people get thrown on and people help each other through. You can have performances where people literally had a basic idea, but people talk them through, go to the right, go to the left. That happened to me a lot. I was always thrown on. <laughs> Jane, to the left. Right arm up. Left foot, <laughs> left, foot left foot. OK, thanks. The places that we used to stay were... Ooh. I remember in Nottingham one week, Craig and I paid five pounds between us for the whole week. You can imagine the state of this place. Liverpool was the best place because at the time you could just buy a room at the Holiday Inn. So yeah, the girls, could. and there were two double beds in the room, so the girls used to share, so we'd have four in the room, and the boys, <laughs> would have eight in a room and <laughs> take the mattresses off the divan so that there was a mattress, a divan, a divan, a mattress, eight, £2.50 a night. <gasps> that was cheaper than Craig and I got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you see? That was after my time. That was it, you see? Got better already. <laughs> International touring. We'd get, get on the plane. It used to be the whole company on the plane. They always used to say, and we welcome... English National Ballet yeah, or Festival did. Ballet at the time. Yeah. They used to say on the plane, yeah. we were lucky enough to have. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I told all the passengers who the, <laughs> the loud people were. <laughs> the difference in audiences, though, from English companies to overseas companies, like places like China, they didn't really applaud until the very end. And mm. so you were up there trying to do your best and there was no inkling whether they were Enjoy. enjoying it or not. So that was a little bit nerve-wracking. We were the first company in there after the Cultural Revolution. So there was, Coca-Cola hadn't even arrived and we went. Yeah, it was, it was really, there was nothing. People were in Mao suits. It was a culture shock, a huge, huge culture shock. End of season parties. Cabaret. Oh my God. Yeah, they were hysterical, just hysterical. Friday night, last yeah. Friday of the tour. And we had two shows the next day. I mean, it was ludicrous time to have it, but we all sort of got on and did it. We all did the show the yeah, next day. No one was sick. <laughs> well, if they were, they still went on. <laughs> I remember holding up my partner, though. Because <laughs> he was still slightly... Uh, inebriated. Inebriated. <laughs> we get fired for that now, wouldn't we? Mm. There were great times, actually, and I made friendships, I'm sure you did, with people that have lasted, you know, 40 years. <laughs> it's lovely to look back on those days and realise, yeah, it was hard work, but great, great fun. And whenever you catch up with everybody, it's always the banter in the dressing room. And it's like you've never had 20 years apart. You just pick up where you left off, which is lovely. Yes. Really lovely. And I think it's also to do with the, uh, the mix of people that come in from different backgrounds. I mean, I remember way back as a dancer, we were super inspired by guest artists coming in. You know, phenomenal people. Eve Evtekimova, Elisabetta Terabas, Patrice Bart, Peter Schaufers. You know, all those people were so inspirational. And, you know, you had them next to you in class. It was, it was phenomenal. Rudolph, of course. Yeah, 
of course. Yeah. <laughs> How can we forget? forget? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, yeah. Betty Anderton. I mean, when I joined, she was senior ballet mistress, and she really knew how to hold I a... don't um, work in a ballet company any day without thinking about that woman. Mm. Any day. She was so inspirational. Absolutely. And still is. Yes. A great sense of humour. Will you lower your voices to a scream? <laughs> <laughs> EMB has a great energy about it. There's a really good work ethic, some seriously strong dancers, very much a family spirit, and very supportive. Yesterday we had a rehearsal for new principals, and after they finished the Pada the whole company was applauding. It was a lovely, lovely atmosphere to be in. And good coming back and still feeling that same atmosphere. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That we always... Generations later. Yeah, it hasn't gone away, has No, it, it hasn't gone away. There's been a lot of directors over the years, mm. and the essence of the company has survived with various different people guiding the company and lifting it up and, and supporting it, but the actual essence of the company has survived. This new building is extraordinary. Natural light in all of the studios, the space, the production studio is amazing. Great gym, Pilates room, the um, Hydra pool. Wow, what we would have done for one of those in <laughs> our days. What we'd have done for a physio in our days. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. And to have the school in the same building too, that's going to be great. Those kids can come past and get inspired by these great dancers. We've not been with the school for a long, long time, yeah. at least 25 years now. Yeah. So it's, it's great important. to have them yeah. back with us. Yeah, that would be lovely.